What up? This is your boy Doughboy, and this is another installment of, you know what I'm saying? We reviewing movies. You know what I'm saying? Normally you would see me over here with Brent Taylor, but you know what I'm saying? For the second week in a row, Brent had to go get a Manny Petty. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make the sparks. You know what I'm saying? He was feeling down in the dumps. I said, look here, sis, you're in no condition to come up here and talk movies. Just go get your Manny Petty. You know what I'm saying? So he walking around somewhere with cotton in between his toes. You know what I'm saying? Living his best life. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? But we'll definitely make sure to get him in next week. But the movie that I am going to be reviewing today, it's a Netflix original. So that means you got to go to Netflix. Um, if y'all too cheap to have been paying your uh, your Netflix bill, I don't know what to say to you. Side note, Netflix is the most caregiving uh, streaming service out there. Y'all ever notice that when they do cancel you, they don't even bother you. Like They don't make you feel bad. They'll be like, well, we noticed that. You haven't been with us for a while. If you do decide to come back, come back with no fees and no does. Da, da. I just realized I told y'all how, how broke I was because I actually know the process of getting your Netflix turned off. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, you got to be able to watch it on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the movie is called Freestyle. All right. And it's a pretty cool movie. Now, first off, if you don't like movies with subtitles, this might not be for you. And sometimes it is kind of tough to be like you watching something and trying to read what's happening, but then also trying to watch and see what's going on in the screen. Sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm missing something when I watch movies with subtitles like that or whatever. But um, this movie was cool. Like this movie, how I could explain it, if if Eight Mile and Paid in Full had a baby, it would be freestyle, okay? It's this movie about this hip-hop duo, you know what I'm saying? They rhyming in some language, and you don't really know what it is, and they just saying a bunch of stuff, and I'm just reading the lyrics like, well, this don't even rhyme in their language. I don't even know what this this means like this. So um, I was I was watching it, and so, you know what I'm saying, you see that there's some rappers, and they're trying to get their, uh, their thing popping, but then they, they run into a scheme that's like a life-changing, you know, altering scheme, you know what I'm saying, to get some money. It's drugs involved, like, you know what I'm saying, it's a real heavy thing. It's real, um, it's like a gritty drama, though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, the the up parts of it was, you know what I'm saying, the tempo never lacked, you know. I'm learning how to write movies myself now, so I could tell that they did their homework. Do your homework, my J main voice, FYB J main voice. They did their homework on how to write a movie. Like, they was raising the stakes. Like, they had an antagonist. They had plot twists in the movie. Like, they was doing all of these things genuinely good. There were some really, really good performances. Um, I couldn't tell you the name of any of the actors. Like I said, it's a, a, a overseas film. But they was acting good like a motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was good. Like, I had um, no complaints with the acting. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, those were the good things. Um where it could have maybe, you know, done a little bit better. There were certain points where I do feel like it dragged like a smidge, like it didn't kind of get to the point. Some some things were a little bit overkill. Um, but but all in all, it was a good it was a good movie. Everybody kind of played off of each other the right way. I kind of liked, um, you know, how they kind of got in and out of scenes. That's another thing that I'm learning how to do as I'm writing movies. Like the movie had a good flow to it overall like i like how the movie flowed it had like it ebbs and fl ebbs and flow is it ebbs and flows ebbs and salt bath if you got achy joint okay anyway it flowed good it was like connecting it all made sense in the end like you know what i'm saying and there's some definite plot twists um i think there was a you know there was some of it you seen it coming but there was a couple of plot twists that you didn't really see coming at all it was just like bow like hit you you know what I'm saying? In between the gloves. Like, ow, didn't see that coming. Oops, got through it. Um, so it was definitely overall a solid film. Like, you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like if you like crime dramas, like, you know what I'm saying, and you don't mind watching uh, movies with subtitles, this would definitely be a good movie to go ahead and uh, Netflix and chill with. Um, out of uh, 1 in 10, I gave it, a, gave it about a 7.3. 7.3, because it wasn't without its faults. Like, I can't give it too high of a rating, but like a 7.3, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's it's definitely a movie that um, if you have a short attention span, I don't know if you would really get through it. And that's another reason, too, why, like, you know, I don't know if Brent would have did good on this because Brent reads slow. So I think he just would have been behind on character development and plot twists because he probably wouldn't be able to keep up with the reading so much. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a problem with the reading, you might want to skip this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or try to do something to where you can get Google Translate 
Because if your reading skills is the bullshit, you ain't going to know what the hell is going on. I had to re- rewind the movie a couple of times so I could be like, wait, what's up? And she said this to him. And hold on, what is Michael doing? So, you know, I did have to do that um, a couple of times. But outside of those small little tweaks that I'm saying about the, it does get a little annoying with the subtitles. And, the, you know, the movie was dragging a little bit. And, you know, what I'm saying they kind of telegraphed a couple of punches with some, uh, some of the stuff that ended up happening. Um, so yeah, but, uh, overall it was solid. Like I said, seven, three, definitely think it's worth to watch. You know what I'm saying? If you do, if you, it is still out here flexing in these Netflix streets. Side note, did y'all know that Netflix is now doing a password protect thing to where you can't even like share your password. Like if your password is in different households and stuff, like it'd be like, nah, you ain't authorized. Cause I'm here at the office at studio 26 productions. And, um, I tried to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Use it. From, you know, because, you know, it was somebody else's that was logged onto the TVs that that I was on. And it had booted me out. I was just like, wait, what the hell? So I had to end up uh, signing on to my own. Luckily, I still had my own backup account. But, yeah, the networks, uh, the Netflix password thing is a thing of the past. So if you ain't uh, locked in, uh, you better get locked in or you won't be able to enjoy movies like Freestyle. Um, but, yes, that in, uh, concludes another episode of the movie review show uh definitely we'll have brent taylor back next week i know he's just been uh, in all seriousness you know what i'm saying he's just been you know busy working doing his own thing so we'll definitely get him in next week and we'll review a movie maybe we'll actually go out to the movie together eat snacks like i need that and uh come back and you know what i'm saying with a uh with, with a review for the next movie but uh hop in the comments like the video share the video comment on the video hop in on the, hop in the comments on the video and let us know what's the next movies y'all want us to review if you guys are enjoying the reviews you know what i'm saying with us and you know what I'm saying Brent will be back next week. Check your eyes out next time. I've been your boy Doughboy. Peace.